Tutorial number two. In this tutorial, we will start our first sketch. So this is the first tutorial we're going to start working with SolidWorks. We said to the left you have the part three, and the most important things to look at right now are the planes. So you have three different planes, and you have the origin. So if you remember in the mathematics, you have the origin with the coordinates of zero. Zero, zero, uh, front plane. You can imagine it like the uh, z-x coordinate, top plane, the x-y, and so on. So these are the views or the planes where you are able to start your sketching. So depending on the orientation of your parts or how you want it, you can select the plane you want. So once you choose your plane and click on it. You will see this sketch so that means you are able to insert a sketch on that plane so let's click on it now we are able to make a sketching so the sketch menu here is activated if you go to it so you have the sketch tools so it is starting from line the simplest tool the corner and so on so we're going to have a look on the sketch tools in the next tutorials. So now let's start with the line and let's start from the origin. So SolidWorks is user friendly so it give you marking to you and helping to choose your points. And if you look at the bottom you will see the coordinates of your points. So if you Put it on the origin you will get a zero zero or coordinates so now you can see your coordinates here so let's start from the origin and now you can see the length of your line so that is a helpful tool so you know the, the approximate length instead of making small lines or bigger lines and then redimensioning them that might miss your sketch so you can take it to be for example 100 millimeter and when you click you are selecting your point you are still able to use the line tool so when you are done you can click escape or right click select to end your line tool so another thing to use with the line let's select the line pick the point where we want and if you notice this yellow relation appears to you that means this line is vertical so when you are drawing you have some relation as well for example now if you hover over this line you are able to select the middle point and you see the relation appear next to that tell you that is is a middle point so we can pick it so now we know there's relations so if you make it like this you have this relation it is perpendicular to that line so they are very helpful tool to help, to help you sketching an accurate in an accurate way so if you want to show the relations on your sketch you said on the glasses here you have the view sketch relations when you select it so you'll see the relations in your sketch so you have the midpoints here have the perpendicular relation and intersection here so if you want to delete uh, so before deleting a relation if you want to pick that point try to move it so you are able to move the whole part so and this continue to be in the middle so let's click this point right click delete or simply click press delete on the keyboard 
so you deleted that relation and if you pick that line so you are able to move it freely from that line so the relations playing an important role in your sketching so sometimes you need to see for the relation if you are not able to correct some or move some lines or so on so now let's return that relation put it so we made it again here so let's hide the relation again so in the next tutorial we going to continue talking about the sketching how to use the line in another way and adding the dimensions so see you in the next tutorial